Okay, welcome to the Chase County Museum. We have been an organization since 1937, I believe. I'm Diane Schelke. I've been on the board here. We're regulated by a board and directors. So um, we'll just take a gander around the museum and I can tell you as we go. Um, this, all of this equipment is from our hospital that was in Imperial. We've since built a new hospital. And of course, all of this was um, Dr. Shop, Dr. Smith, and it's all been donated. This was the central office that was in Champion. There were several ladies. Mrs. Hoskins um, was one of the main ladies that was in the central office, and they would go by the ring who they were supposed to be calling. Two shorts, one long, whatever. And uh, that was quite the deal in Champion at the time. Okay, and this was uh, one of the drugstore displays. This was the Einspire and Adams, and then they split up and we had two drugstores in Imperial at one time. So that was kind of a big deal. Okay, and this is Dr. Bros, more of the medical that was in Imperial. And of course, these were quite the latest things when he was doctoring here. He was one of the doctors that stayed for many, many years. Okay, and this was a little store. Um, I always thought of it as the candy store. It was actually a little drug store and anything you wanted Mrs. Sickinger had in Champion on Main Street. This is the marble display that was in her store. And this is the original building for the Chase County Museum. Um, these doors called kids to high school until the mid-40s. And then it was closed down. The building was used for PTA meetings and plays when I was a child. And uh, basically, that's what it was until the museum got a hold of it. Okay, this is Main Street of Imperial, believe it or not, in 1888. And as you can see, things have changed a lot. All right, this is our runway coming into the newer part of the building from the old Alpha High School. These are pictures that have been donated. As you can see, there's a huge display of that. And then over here, we have some of the pictures given and just odds and ends. And then a lot of hats were given by people in the area. All right, this is our horse area, I guess you would call it. Um, agriculture, the horses, the oxen, everything like that kept this area going for a long time. We didn't have cars and we didn't have even the High Line here. So um, this really kept Chase County moving. Okay, these are the arrowheads that were found in this area. Most people, as a pastime, like to go out. It was good for them, too, to get some exercise and look for the arrowheads. They were very plentiful when the little kids were running to school and everything. They would just find arrowheads. This display was set up by a lot of ladies because we were getting some beautiful dresses that we wanted to display all the time. Um, the mirror came from Beatrice many years ago in the mid-1800s and was given by a family here. But it, it sets the dresses off so you can see the backs of them. Also, we have some wedding dresses. We have a wedding day during the summer when we display more wedding dresses, too. So it makes a beautiful area for these dresses. All right, uh, you can notice the flags are very prominently displayed. The boys at that time um, were just anxious to, to serve their country, and we like to display it this way. Okay, this is our military section. All the men, like I said, were proud to serve their country. We have flags displayed everywhere. The pictures are from basically World War I. 
and you can see how many of the guys from Nebraska in this area were serving. Okay, agriculture, as I said earlier, was a big deal to Chase County. They came out here as homesteaders for free land, and I know they would sell 80 acres in the eastern part of the state and get a whole quarter here or better. And there were tree claims. There are a lot of trees still here in the tree claim areas. Um, but agriculture is what they came to Chase County basically for. All right, well that ends our tour of the Chase County Museum. If you're close to us, please come by and see us. We're open on Sunday afternoons during the summer. We are closed during the winter, but if you know somebody with a key, I'm sure they'll let you in for a tour.